Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today we have a special treat as we are going to open up some fan mail! Whoa! That's right, someone sent us something to 8 Minutes with Aaron. So I wonder what it is, so let's just get right into it on 8 Minutes with Aaron. Alright, so fan mail. That's right, my very first fan mail. And I guess you can technically not call it a fan mail, but I'm going to call it that. Anyway, it is from my buddy, Sean Holland. Uh, me and him talk a lot about wrestling, Funko Pops. You know, we dibble dabble in those NFTs. We were trading some Scooby-Doo stuff. And he asked me where I lived. Now, I thought it was just going to be because he was going to send me a signed autographed picture of my favorite wrestler, CM Punk, which would have been amazing, but I'd probably have to get him back somehow, maybe get a sign down your Ryan Funko Pop, or maybe just a regular toy sign. And that would have taken a lot of time and energy, which we all know I have none of. So, let's get to this box. Now, it was sent perfect just like this. And I will say thank you very much for whatever's inside because it was packaged perfectly. Now, when I first looked at it, I thought, hey, maybe it is just, you know, a Marvel Studio box. Uh, maybe an extra one uh, or he gets some monthly uh, subscription. I couldn't spit that out, which is cool. I do like some Marvel stuff. I'm not all into it, but I do like the Hulk and he is awesome. So I'm going to have to get the knife on this one because I don't think the butter knife's going to... All right, let's see. Yep, all right, here we go, people. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, oh, check it out. Sweet, it is not a Marvel collection box at all. This is cool. All right, so the first Funko Pop that he put inside... Oh, dude, this dude hooked me up. He hit me up with the Infinite Doku with every Funko Pop, the Glow in the Dark that was dropped in the Funko Shop a few weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago, I don't know by my standards. This is freaking awesome. I know a lot of you My Hero Academia fans are really jealous right now. Uh, I'm going to turn this dude around for you guys. This is sick. Wow. This is awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, man. Oh, this is sweet. All right. I'm going to put this down, and uh, if we have time, we'll open it up. We'll see. And the second Funko Pop that he put in here is a Six Paths Naruto from Naruto Shippuden. Naruto the original. I don't care what you want to call the show. It's amazing, and Naruto is one of my favorite characters on the show. I think I say that about everybody when it comes to Naruto characters. Now, I know it is a special edition, but, you know, we can look past it. Uh, these are really sweet. Uh, I want to thank you very much, Sean. These are awesome. And you know what? We have plenty of time to open these bad boys up. And you know what? We're even going to... You know what? Is these both glow in the dark? No. I know they made a glow in the dark version, but I don't think it is glow in the dark. This one. So this one we're going to open up first so we can do the uh, lights. All right. Cool. And you put them on pop protectors. Very nice. Very nice. I'll, I'll have to think about what I have to do to repay you for your generosity and kindness. All right. You know what's pretty cool, too? I was going to actually go and get uh, my other My Hero Academia Funko Pop signed at a convention that was earlier this month. I really didn't have time. But now the next one, <laughs> I got something to get signed that's more important. All right. Taking this guy out, it looks extremely detailed. Uh, Deku looks great. Uh, look at the lightning around him. That looks pretty awesome as well. I think this is when he's using, I don't know, 2 or 5% of his power. And I think the, uh, who's it? Eri? Eri in the back? Um, maybe it was from a movie when this was taken. No, it's not from a movie. What am I talking about? I'm sorry. I don't know a lot of My Hero Academia. I just read a lot of stuff. And I think... She can go into the future or can time travel maybe. And a lot of people did put on the forums that uh, this little Eri person was going to take DQ into the future to go through some kind of training arc or actually took Bakayo, his friend, back in time. Whole big spiel. I don't know and I really shouldn't be talking about it. But what we will do is... Lights! Alright, now we got flashlight. Let's glue this bad boy up. Glue in the bad boy! Do, 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 do. Up this bad boy here. All right, that was <laughs> really bad singing. Uh, all right, okay, is we are we good? Ready? One, two, three. Oh, 
Check that guy out. Alright, that looks pretty sick. I'm gonna hold him up. Hopefully, it won't break the bottom portion. Home towards the camera. Ah, oh, he looks pretty cool. You know, I think he's a lot better than uh, one of the Sasuke's I have. I thought his head bobbled for a second, and it did not. All right, that looks pretty cool. Deku, I give you a thumbs up. Let's get those lights on. All right, man, we're back. Oh, man, it wasn't straight either. Huh, it's crooked the whole video. All right, and now we can take out some Naruto. Now, I know I've taken out several Naruto's in eight minutes with Aaron, but every Naruto Funko Pop is amazing. So, oh, they have little uh, clippy things too if I wanted to hang them on the wall. Pretty impressive. Listen, when I send you Funko Pops, we're not going to be uh, in such great protectors. I go get the Ecotex. All right, let's pop this open. Hey, you know what? Since I have this, maybe I'll keep one of these Naruto's out. Oh, he just wants to come right out. All right, cool, cool, cool. And this is the Naruto in Sage mode. And, you know, where he's looking sick, six path mode. And for some reason, he feels a little weird on my hands, the paint on the top of his head. You see it turn around, he has a cool Rasengan, he has got the Rengan, whatever the heck well, it's called, it's not the Rengan staff, it's like the Riduku staff. And, uh, you know what, I don't know, I'll, I'll shine some light on him, I'll see if he glows, I'm not gonna shut the light off just, uh, in case he doesn't. Cause I don't think he does glow. Actually, he might. I didn't think of that, maybe he does glow. Huh. Huh. Alright, you know what? Let's let's shut the lights. Okay, so. Uh, as I was looking at him, I th was feeling the texture around him, and then I started saying to myself, well, this feels like it's extra painted on top of the yellow hair. And guess what? Oh! He's not gonna stand up on his own, I don't think, but he glows! Check that out! Neat, right? Hey, we got two glow-in-the-dark Funko Pops. Though I'm not sure why it didn't give me the little sticker uh, on the Naruto box, even if it is special edition. Uh, and uh, let me uh, lean him against there, because, hey, I gotta get those lights turned on. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. We got the uh, Naruto in Six Paths mode, and he's glowing in the dark. And then we got the uh, Midori, or Deku, Infinite Deku, that's what they call him. His real name is Midori. Uh, with Eri, I think it's Eri, it could be Era, I don't know, Air, who cares, I don't know. My name is Aaron, thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I want to thank you again, Sean, I appreciate that box. I will definitely hook you back up, I just got to think of what to send you. I will see you next time, people. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Who's your favorite My Hero Academia character? Who's your favorite Naruto character? I would love to know. I will see you next time. See ya.